So guys, thermal terminology. So guys, we in the last video we have seen the different types of thermals. That is the threaded, flange, welded, and sanitary. If you haven't watched my video, please click here on the top right corner to more about more details. Guys, please also subscribe to my educational channel Engineers Academy and press the bell icon so you'll get an instant notification. So guys, whenever a thermal is immersed into a process line or a pipe. A certain uh, velocity of the fluid which will act on a thermal well basically so guys we need to understand the certain parameters uh, certain parameters and we need to take care of the particular parameters such as the process connection thermal well length immersion length over here so guys this fro which is very important for the proper sensing of the instrument guys so guys immersion length and uh, all other the parameters are very important so guys over here this is the model of a flanged thermal well basically so guys this flange is having the size of 2 inch 150 rating flange that is corresponding to this ASMEB 16.5 model the material of this thermal well is SS316 so guys this is the industrial representation and in the industry this how the th a thermal well looks like basically so guys over here the threading is provided for mounting the instrument you can see over here this is the threading which over uh, in the bottom this is the full penetration weld which is provided on the bottom side and on the top side so guys this is the tapered type of thermal well as you can see over here so guys uh, this one this dif distance is the head of the thermal well which is 50 mm which also includes this flange thickness guys so this is the thermal well guys having flange process connection this is the tapered one you can see guys this is the tapered over here having the shank is having the tapered so guys this particular length is known as the immersion length over here this is the length which is goes inside the process and which will comes in it, uh, contact with the fluid basically so guys this is the tapered type of thermal well over here guys this bore is uh, specified which is having 6.60 mm so inside that bore the the stem of the temperature gauge or the RTD which will go inside and it will have a protection due to this particular shank against the flow so guys over here this is the sectional view of this particular thermo well so guys we can cl uh, see clearly over here this the internal part over here this is the uh, process connection that uh, instrument connection over here and this one is the uh, tapered type of the uh, outer profile we can see over here so guys in the bottom we have this 6 mm tip thickness over here so typically 6 mm or 5 mm 3 mm this is also depends upon the requirement again so guys this is a particular flanged type thermal well and the shank is having the tapered one so having it is having full penetration well provided on the bottom side on, on the top side guys so guys this is the flange type thermal well so let's check out the different uh, types uh, according to the shank basically so guys this is also a flange type thermal well having the straight shank so guys over here you can see this is the straight shank there is no tapered or anything the second one is this is the stepped shank over here guys you can see this is the step over here uh, which is provided for the proper sensing or we can call it as a fast response the next one is the partial tapered uh, type thermal well so guys after a certain length the tapered over here which is provided and the next one is the full tapered which one we have seen in this our previous model so guys this is the full tapered thermal well guys so basically guys whenever a thermal well is immersed into a process so there is the easy insertion and the easy removal into the process which has to be there also guys according to easy removal there is the response time is also matters over here that depends upon the thermal conductivity of the material and the wall thickness of the thermal well guys so guys over here this partial tapered and the full tapered is having a good um, sensitivity or good sensitivity than that of the straight type so let's discuss the specifications of the thermal well basically so guys the first of all is the model that is nothing but the type of the thermal well that can be vanstone threaded flanged or anything the next one is the style 
that we have seen as per the type of the shank straight stepped partial tapered and full tapered the next is the type which can be of the round bar stock or the hex so guys these are the hex thermovils which is manufactured from a hex rod over here which is shown so these are the hex rod so that was the type basically the next is the material of the shank so the material of the shank can be commonly used that is 304 or 316 the instrument connection can be bsp female half inch or npt 38 it can be anything the process connection can be of the threaded or flange or vanstone type or tri triclover type the lagging extension over here which is shown that is h is equals to 50 mm which includes the thickness of the flange so next one is the thermoval od so which is f over here the od can be of 22 mm or 16 mm the thermoval id that is depends upon the stem diameter the next is the emotion length u which is goes inside the process against which is go <coughs> comes in the contact with the fluid so guys this u and h comes together so that will be becomes your total thermoval length so guys apart from this uh, thermoval uh, specification there are also some kind of certification which is also ne necessary so that is the hydro test NACE certification ibr certification for boilers and material test certification which is also very important so guys that was all about the specifications of the thermoval so guys in our video we have seen this thermoval terminology shank types and specifications of thermoval so guys i hope you understand and i hope you like my video so if you have any doubts and comments please do comment uh, below and guys don't forget to share all my videos on a social network please subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy guys thank you for watching my video guys stay tuned